the work of them. Uh, that was qualified, like there's something, some significant work that happens in describing a group of alcohol when something else gets consumed by the fire. But a significant work of that I have to путем положения мере строя наказания более строгим, окончательно назначить острых включить в меру наказания смертную казнь расстрела. Меру просечения в отношении обвиняемого Острикова до вступления правозаконных сил стоять прежде, в заключении под стражу. Даже во время оглашения приговора на лице подсудимого не дрогнул ни один мускул. After everyone had their chance to speak in this Wapolo County courtroom, it was Dustin Armstrong's chance to say something about what he'd done. Do you have anything you wish to say to me prior to my announcement what I'm going to do here today, sir? Last April, police found two-year-old Braden Young unconscious in his autumnal home with a broken jaw and extensive brain damage. Armstrong admitted in Monday's hearing that he grabbed Braden's jaw and slammed his head against a wall. Being betrayed by the man I was with for nearly three years brought me into the deepest pain I've ever known. When Judge Joel Yates gave the guilty sentencing, Armstrong lost control of his emotions, dropped his head into his hands and cried. And you'll have plenty of time in the Iowa penal system to think about what you've done to this place this time. Tears were shed throughout the courtroom, some of joy as justice was served, others of pain as he had to watch as her son leave.
It's an incredibly emotional day in court. When the judge handed down that sentence to Jalil Smith Riley, he became very emotional, even collapsing at one point. But the families of those victims tell us this is way too little, too late. Four defendants serve a term of life without parole. As to count the court for the offense of attempted murder. This reaction from a confessed killer was the last in a series of intense moments in this Hamilton County courtroom and exactly what the victim's families asked for. I have to deal with life without portion, so he should deal with life without, without parole. With his request to withdraw his guilty plea denied and death penalty off the table, the families of Portia Brooks and Aaron Martin pleaded with Judge Charles Kubicki to hand down the maximum sentence. Smith Riley's family begged for a shorter one. With no criminal record outside of that night, they believed he had the capacity to be rehabilitated. We think so. At his sentencing today, 19-year-old Shondell Jackson was facing a mandatory life term for pulling the trigger, but hoped for a chance at parole, a hope dashed by Judge Rebecca Dallin, who gave him life without parole, sparking the outburst. It all started when Jackson turned towards the Potter family, something deputies were watching for. At the sentencing today, prosecutors played this 12 News video of Jackson's February conviction, when Jackson gestured to the Potter family several times, cursed at them, and as he was let out of court, our camera caught him smiling. 